Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, I got another video we're gonna go ahead and make today. Uh, we're hauling something that we don't ever haul. Uh, it's something new to me. Um, it's one of two in the United States apparently from the guys that I picked it up at. Uh, but this is a street sweeper. And what it is, is it's uh, battery powered for the sweepers is the way they explained it. And then it runs off of uh, CNG uh, to power the motor. But this one was pretty tricky. Uh, as you can see, it's got a low bumper on it and everything else we had to keep from hitting. Uh, Abby's over there. She's walking off. She's like, forget this. Come here. Come on. But chaining this down was kind of hard. We actually went to the front axle to here. And then back here, you got the spring. We barely are missing the tire, but that was the only other place that we could tie down right there. Went to the spring, but it is a secured tie down point. But there it is. Um, the brushes went ahead and they got the uh, trailer as they were going on. This back here dragged as it went on, but they said that's how it was supposed to be. I had them load it because I wasn't sure how uh, everything would go. But we're in Finley, Nevada right now. And uh, we're just doing a quick pre-trip. And Abby's going to go to the bathroom. But yeah, we've just been checking the truck out, drinking our coffee. And we did a 34-hour reset uh, over here. What that is is... After you drove your 70 hours out, you have to stop and sit for 34 hours. And then they give you your 70 hour clock back and then you can drive again. But we just did that. Uh, if you look at this, you can see that on the top of the exhaust sack, we put a, uh, a cover because this exhaust sack has one of them flappers on it. And that flapper would just sat there and just went in the wind and probably wouldn't be here now if we hadn't covered it so best just to protect everything but uh yeah that's about all we've been doing and we've been just chilling out and, and uh enjoying the time we'll uh catch back up with you guys here in just a little while Well, why don't we just take you off for a little ride. We're uh, leaving Fernley, Nevada. It's Sunday, the 7th of March. Let's take a quick ride. We're just gonna go up the road a few hundred miles. Uh, this load is going to Salt Lake City, Utah. We're not gonna go all the way there because chances are there's gonna be nowhere to park. So, Let's just cruise on down the highway and we may just go to Wells, Nevada or maybe a little bit further than that. We may just get to the Nevada, Utah state line. But uh, yeah, it's not gonna be as far as I would normally drive in a day. I could go all the way today, but there's no point, they're not open. And plus you get to Salt Lake City, the less place you got to park. So we'll just cruise down the road and get as close as we decide to get today and we'll wake up early in the morning and go the rest of the way. Yeah, as you saw in the uh, clip where I showed you what we have on, we have the flip axle up. After we got rid of that case, 340 wind road, uh, road track I asked those guys if they would kindly put that uh, axle up for me and they decided that they would so it saves me a little bit on fuel and everything else a little tight getting out of the truck stop this morning here but it's alright it is a little bit late. I didn't have a hurry, so. It's already almost 10 o'clock in the morning and we're just not getting going, so. That's all right. 
like I said, we didn't have a scheduled time to be anywhere today. So we'll get to wherever we decide to get to. And I think one of my buddies is going to be up at the uh, Wells truck stop. and may go over there and just say hi to him and see how things are going with him. And we'll just keep on trucking. Or we may just stay the night there. It depends. But uh, I use an app on my phone. Uh, it's called Trucker's Path. I really like it. It shows me how much parking is in each truck stop, um, how much parking is left at the truck stops. You know, it, it makes it uh, pretty nice for planning out if you want to continue going or if you want to stop. I don't know if this guy's going to turn or not. He's not. We're gonna make a turn up here. I'm sure all of you that drive have seen people that decide they don't need to use their turn signals. That, that irritates me. You know, make your turn and then once you're done with your turn, turn that turn signal back off. But uh, I guess it's their issue to figure out how to drive, right? They're saving on blinker fluid coming so we'll just keep on making the turn. Alright. This is uh, Interstate 80 that we're getting on. Uh, we went over Donner Pass Friday twice actually. Went over there to drop off that case tractor and then came back over it with this street sweeper so we uh, got real good at driving Donner Pass oh, gotta reset my miles there we go that way we can start getting an accurate fuel mileage right now it's not gonna be accurate at all because we left the pull on the hill there's Sherman Williams, they're hiring it says, so if anyone's looking for a job, uh, Finley, Nevada, come on over, they'll take your application, I'm sure. But uh, the 80 does have some real pretty highway on it. Um, it's, it's got a lot of mountainous area, it's real pretty. Over here you got Polaris it looks like, I didn't even notice that the other day. Yeah, I've been watching the weather report, checking it out on my phone, and apparently Donner may be getting snow today, and supposed to have got it yesterday, and tomorrow we're supposed to be going back over Donner Pass, so we'll just kind of have to play it by ear and see how it looks. Uh, I do have auto socks in the truck, they count as my chains. Um, they take that place, so I am legal to go over it with those. Uh, I do not carry chains on my truck, but except for tie down chains, obviously. But uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll just have to watch the weather. Either way, we, we really need to go over Donner because where this next load that we're going to be getting is a planter. Where it goes is that's going to uh, Turlock, California. And the fastest way for me to get there is to go over Donner Pass. So we'll just have to see what happens. Uh, most likely we're going to go over it either way. But. Uh, We'll just see what happens with that. Uh, I did go online and I answered a bunch of questions uh, for people. Uh, there was a few questions that needed to be answered. Uh, so we went ahead and took care of that. Uh, please keep on commenting. Uh, 
Jason will be back out here in the end of May and he'll resume his duties of truck driving with Riley Equipment Transport as the videographer and we'll have him put out some more videos for you than I've been doing. Um, this is kind of his channel. I just kind of make videos as I see fit to do so. And, um, I hope these are helping you out. They're more of an educational thing in my opinion. Uh, because when you get a load, you don't know what you're doing with it. You can refer to a video and see how people tied it down before. And, you can decide if that's the way you want to tie it down or if you might have a better idea on how to tie it down but let me know what your thoughts are in the comments uh, you know I've done shifting videos I've done CB radio videos which we got to get ours fixed the uh, plug over here on the mirror it decided to break on me so I'm not sure if a rock might have hit it or something, but I, I got to get that repaired. We'll get the CB back up in action. You know, y'all really should go back and watch that CB video. It, uh, it was real good and educational as far as a lot of those accidents that happened this winter may have been prevented if other truckers would have had CB
videos in their trucks, they would have known, oh no, there's a, there's a big stop up ahead or over the hill, there's going to be something there. Uh, you know, it's got a lot of people that will tell you that there's a car on the side of the road, truck on the side of the road, you know, sometimes they'll tell you where the cops are, not like we speed anyway, but... I don't really worry about that, but you know, they'll tell you for those of you that got the lead foot. And uh, CB radio is a good thing. Uh, if you're out here trucking, make sure you stay safe. Pay attention to the road. Forget about all the other stuff that's going on around you. That phone call, it'll wait. That text message, you know, it, it does need to be answered right now. You know, they, they'll, they'll be there when you stop. You know, get that text message later. The biggest thing for me is you've got to have that coffee in the morning. My morning seems to roll into the uh, afternoon and the evening, though. But I drink coffee all day. Salt Lake City is where they have uh, Black Rifle Coffee. I love to have that Black Rifle Coffee. I drink a lot of it. Uh, I'm getting low, so it's about time for me to place an order. And uh, we'll get some more coffee coming in. Uh, I'm gonna put this video up tonight. I'm gonna look at your guys' comments when I wake up in the morning to see uh, what anyone puts on there but if you want to see me unload this uh, street sweeper place that in the comments below that you'd like to see it being unloaded because you know that's where uh, there's we put a lot of block work into it and, you know we've got to be careful go slow and just a little bit of the tilt with these trucks being C and G they don't like the big climb like that and it thinks it's trying to tip tip over so sometimes it'll stall them out but you can't just go you gotta restart them and, and get them going again but put it down in the comment below if you'd like to see me unload this thing and uh if that's what you all would like to see you know i i definitely have no issues making that happen for you all Yeah, it'll be it, it'll be a good unload. I really should have got a video of us loading it, but uh, we didn't. It's all right. You know that couple back there. I think they went out there just to see the uh, salt on the side of the road. You know, there's pull-offs up ahead. They could have done that a little more safe. Maybe they had a car issue. I don't know. Yeah, the side of the road is not the place just to pull off to see you can go explore. Use a rest area, something like that. Be safe out here, people. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's really nice out today, I'll tell you. Uh, really enjoying the day. Uh, we uh, don't got a whole long ways that we have to make it today. Technically, I could have just stayed in bed and not drove at all today, but, you know, that wouldn't have been any fun. You know, I get bored just sitting on my butt. Um, I may just make it to Wells, Nevada, just call it a day there. You know, we need to get the windshield cleaned up. Uh, over the weekend, I, did, I greased my truck. We did some laundry and did some interior cleaning of the truck yesterday evening. Uh, I brushed the dog out for a while. And, you know, it, she's shedding like crazy, but you know, I got a brush that I like to use on her. Uh, I ought to make a video about that because I'll tell you what, you can brush her and brush her and brush her. Yeah, I bet you can make another dog out of her whenever you're brushing her. I got a brush, it's called the Furminator. It's supposed to get that deep uh, coats, and I think it does really good. 
except for the fact that she still shits on me like crazy. Uh, but I, I think she enjoys getting brushed out, getting all that excess hair off of her. And, and, uh, yeah, she's a good truck dog. Everyone needs something or someone to go trucking with them. Uh, they get pretty lonely if you're just out here by yourself all the time. You didn't have anybody to come up and say hi to you or talk to you or anything else. Uh, well, about once an hour she'll come up here and she'll check on me and she comes and puts her head on my knee and says hi. Let's know she's still here. She gotta get her pet petting in for the day. Yeah, temperatures on the truck are all coming up now, so that's a good deal. Uh, rear ends are warming up faster than they have been, but it's a little warmer than it's been everywhere else I've been this winter. So that's expected. In the summertime, it don't take anything for the rear ends to warm up. We can go over the gauges of the truck on another video or sitting still and we can kind of explain to everybody what they are and I can tell you what I got two gauges that I have no idea really what their point is in life but maybe when I make that video one of you guys could be kind enough to tell me what they're for but yeah this is all mountainous terrain over here but it's pretty. It sure is pretty. Um, my question for you guys is, where, where are y'all from? Are y'all watching from the United States? Anyone watching from overseas? Uh, what, what, what part of the country are you watching from? Uh, what states are y'all in? You know, I'm based out of Arizona. But uh, just curious where everybody else is based out of. You know, what kind of content do you want to see? Where would you like to see stuff out of this channel? Uh, would you all like to see more of the uh, maintenance of the truck? Uh, you know, I, I can get more maintenance. There's always maintenance to be done. Uh, you know, if you want a video of greasing the truck, let me know. If you want one over the oil changes. You know, we can do that. Uh, I think tonight I'm actually gonna make the video about the uh, fuel filters and how I fought the algae. And, and uh, I, I don't need to change my fuel filters, but I could change my fuel filters now. Uh, we may change them tonight. That way you all get a video of how that works. But, uh, Yeah, let me know what you want to see. Uh, we'll, we'll get videos for you out on, on that stuff. And, you know, as maintenance comes up, we can just do a maintenance video for you all and you can kind of see what it is that we go through and what everything looks like underneath the trucks. You know, you gotta keep good records of all the maintenance is one big thing with these. We'll get into that on another video. Just let me know what you want to see and we'll get it done. Yeah, it's a uh, pretty nice area. Uh, we were uh, about 30 miles out of Reno is where I did my 34 hour reset. Pretty nice area over there. Uh, everybody I ran into is friendly. Uh, there's a flying J there I, I like to stay at. It's got a big lot, so that, that works for me. Um, the other things that I like about it is, you know, they got a Denny's in there, they got a Cinnabon. You know, there's, there's plenty of options of things for you in there to do. 
gotta decide what it is that you want to do. Uh, there's a, there's options in there. So if you ever on the 80 and you go through Fernley, you know, don't be afraid to stop in there if you need a good place to stop for the night. Uh, they do let you go inside of their restaurant there at the Denny's. So if you if you're one that wants to go in there and sit down and eat, go for it. Uh, whether the restaurants are open or not, normally I don't go and sit down. I like to bring the food back to my truck. I don't like sitting in restaurants by myself. It's kind of boring. Come back into the truck, I can turn something on on the iPad and watch it there. Do what I want. Talk to my dog. Yeah, it's, uh, well, the temperature dropped when we left. It's, it was 60 degrees. It's now saying it's 49 degrees out here. So we're getting a little chillier. But we're going up higher into the mountains. So, that'll be all right. I guess I'll just be quiet and I'll let you guys uh, enjoy the view and we'll go to the camera dies uh, don't forget to like subscribe to our channel and uh, leave some comments and feedback for us we'll get back with y'all bye enjoy the uh, ride